Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a showcase of the pipes mod I just made. And if you'll look over here, I have two chests set up with pipes connecting them. And if you look at the chest on the left, there's a little servo attached to the pipe. And that basically tells the pipe to extract from that inventory. And without a servo, you can't extract from an inventory. So you'll need to craft a lot of them. And if you notice, the, you can see the items going through the pipe, and then they'll end up in the other chest. And as this recording finishes, you'll notice that all the items get transferred to the other chest, which is exactly what we wanted. So I've set up a little system to show you another characteristic of pipes. They'll always try to dump items into the first chest that they can, or inventory. So you'll notice that it just totally ignores the other chest up there by default, and places all the items in there, but as soon as you break the chest, the nearest chest is now the chest that was previously farther away, and now all the wood will redirect to go there instead. And your items are totally safe, because you'll notice you won't lose any wood even though I broke that chest, it'll all just redirect over to the other chest, so nothing is lost no matter what. So here I've set up a little thing to show you what happens if there's nowhere for the items to go, but they've already left the chest. So what happens is these items will all go to the top, and there's nowhere for them to go, so they'll just kind of sit there. But as soon as I place another chest, they'll all just redirect and go down there, so once again, nothing is lost. Your items are totally safe. One thing that's super annoying about vanilla is what if you want to transfer your items between two chests evenly, or four chests evenly? The only real practical way to do that was with a minecart and hopper, and that can get annoying. So I created a round robin mode, which will basically send alternate items between each possible output chest. And that means that if I put a stack of wood into this chest, there will be 21 items in each of those chests, with the leftover going to any of the three. And it's easy to turn on round robin mode. You can either right click with the wrench while shifting, or you can just open up the GUI and hit the button, and that'll do it for you. And you'll notice, even though I'm putting items in slowly, it still remembers what chest it needs to go into next, and that'll make sure that no matter what happens, your items will always be evenly distributed into each chest. And now let's just watch it happen. A lot of times you'll want to build compact machines, but it'll be hard because adjacent pipes by default will connect to each other, which will entangle everything. However, as you can see by right-clicking with the wrench, I can block connections between adjacent pipes, which will allow me to pipe items next to each other without them interfering, so your items will always go exactly where you want them to go. And as you can see, by default it connects, but once I right-click with the wrench, it won't anymore, which is good for us, because we can do all sorts of things with that that are way more compact than they'd be otherwise. And look, I'm putting the oak logs in one chest, and the chest in the other chest, and they all go to the proper destinations. None of them end up in the wrong place, because I've wrenched the pipes, so they won't connect. Well, sorting items in vanilla Minecraft is a pain, because with hoppers you have to do the whole comparator setup, and then have 21 of the item, and it only works for stackable items. And it's just annoying, so... Here I've added the ability to set a whitelist and blacklist filter of up to 9 items, so you can allow only 9 items through, or disallow 9 specific items from going through, which can be used for all sorts of easy sorting contraptions. So for example here, you can see as I add and remove items, only the items which are in the whitelist filter will be allowed through, and not everything else will just stay in the chest. And if I switch it to a blacklist, well now only the items in there will, be sta will stay in the chest, and everything else will be transferred across. So because the birch log is in the blacklist filter, no matter what, it won't transfer across, but all these other blocks, they will all go across. And now the second I remove it, it'll go across too. And there we go, all the items have arrived safely at the other side. One very useful hidden feature is that you can actually put attach servos to adjacent pipes, like over here, and the filters will still apply, so round robin mode won't apply, or trying to prioritize the first chest. But the filter still will, so you can use that to create a sorter with just a servo and a couple pipes. So if you look over here, because the diorite's in the whitelist filter, all the diorite will go to the chest directly across, but nothing else will be able to go through that pipe, so it'll all go to the chest on the right instead. And as we drop items and look over in the two chests, we'll notice the items get sorted correct. The diorite goes into that chest, and everything else goes into the other chest. And just to showcase how easy this 
sorting contraption is to build and how compact it is. I've went and created a simple sorter to sort non-food items and you can see if we open the chest you'll notice one item is in each chest because the server was behind to only allow items of that type through. And the reason I have the dropper and redstone clock is just to show you, it's just so that it picks items at random so you can see all the items go into the correct chest. And there we go, if we open the filters you can see that only the specific item that's going through is supposed to be allowed. And here in the chest we can see all the random foods that it can pick from. And if you did enjoy watching this video and you found it helpful, or you just like playing with my mods, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot. And you can also join my Discord over at discord.flighter.net, F-L-Y-T-R-E. Thank you.